Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new here, my name is Erica. I make videos about lifestyle, motherhood, realness, and becoming your best self. In today's video, I'm just going to be catching up with you guys. It's going to be more of a lifestyle video. It's going to be more of a vlog. I'm just going to be talking to you guys very honestly and candidly. I was not going to make this video. I honestly wanted to write one of those little YouTube posts and just say that there was going to be no video this week and wishing you guys well but that um i just haven't felt my best i haven't felt like myself and i don't know i kind of felt like sitting it out but i found out that you can't write posts if you have less than a thousand subscribers and also uh it's not true that you need to be uh, feeling amazing and doing perfect in order to upload and I do love to be very honest and open about my struggles to make you guys my people feel less alone and so I will just be honest and come on here and say what I gotta say hop in hop out and <laughs> that'll be that so man I don't even know where to begin I know that we are <laughs> into a year of quarantine and for me it really feels like it um i i guess some personal updates <laughs> where to even begin i guess some positive ones some unusual ones or i don't know if it's really unusual i am still on a successful journey of being nicotine free not vaping the last time that i vaped or had nicotine was january 4th i believe now it's almost april i think it's march 30th as i film this so i'm at two months almost yeah a full a full two months is it january okay so i'm almost at three months which is great amazing perfect i also recently quit smoking weed which feels funny to say i don't know but it's been okay i am confident about my decision and i'm not tempted necessarily but i think that maybe it has contributed to my decline in mental health just because i have been like a daily weed smoker for a long time with exception of pregnancy and a few months after but yeah so i think that it's been a new normal for me to be like sober all the time which actually sounds kind of terrible but it's true and yeah my mental health has just I haven't felt like myself. It hasn't felt the best. I feel like my anxiety has been crazy. It's been absolutely crazy. And fortunately, I started going to therapy. I'm very like new into it with my therapist. I have only met with her once. I'm actually going to meet with her today. So woohoo for me. Um, my second session this all just bleeds together so bear with me but my second session with her i ended up having to cancel because i had a job interview and that leads me to the fact that i recently got a new part-time job which is cool i needed it and it's been fine i also just had my first day and for the rest of this week i'll be working pretty consistently so yeah, I can't speak to it that much. I'm very new there, but yeah, there's that. And I also recently got vaccinated for COVID. Um, I guess that's kind of a controversial thing, but yeah, that's, that's what it is. I was and am a food worker, so that's what makes me eligible. And yeah, I'm gonna go in for my second dose pretty soon. But as far as going back to no nicotine, that is something that I feel pretty good about. I, when I think about it, 
I just don't feel tempted because I hate the feeling or hated the feeling of just being so addicted and really feeling like I could not do without nicotine and so I think that I should maybe give myself more credit for cutting that habit out and yeah as far as just I don't know this is what I mean this is why I haven't I I have been feeling an extreme lack of inspiration and motivation I kind of found myself in a place wondering why I haven't felt like how I used to feel I feel like I used to be overflowing with all these ideas are you okay Zoe and now not so much I've had a lot of down days I've had a lot of days where I feel like I just don't have hello Zoe it's my bunny it's your bunny I've had a lot of days where I have just not felt great I have felt more tired and I think that it's true that anxiety can be really exhausting and so there have been days when I don't really want to do anything even when I feel like at a at a low point I even wanted to take naps during the day which is really unlike me but just wanting to like I don't know flop down and just not just not feeling it just not feeling the best but the hopeful side of it is that when you're not doing so great you know that means that you are on your way to feeling great if that makes sense because it's cycles you know and so you can only feel i i think that you could only feel bad for so long before you just i don't know if this is making sense but even though i haven't been feeling the greatest i'm hopeful for my comeback i think that things will be okay i have been wrestling with how much to let myself rest and then at what point is it like okay you need to push yourself but this is me pushing myself the last videos that i have uploaded they haven't felt like my best videos but i really pushed myself and even though in the back of my mind i felt like oh they could have been better it was really me giving all that I had to give at the time of uploading and that's we, we do our best and that's all we can do so that's that's where I'm at I wonder if I'm forgetting anything my body has felt really out of whack um, I've still been going on walks I try not to miss a day I, that's something I fell out of routines I used to be waking up regularly before my daughter like really early like five in the morning I have not been doing that <laughs> and I've just been waking up when she wakes up lately and yeah that's that is honestly genuinely where I am at sometimes I feel lonely and I've been spending time with my mom at her house which has made me feel better and I feel really fortunate that I've been able to do that but dang yeah I I don't know <laughs> I hope you guys are doing good and I thank you for allowing me to be honest and vulnerable here and I I want you to sincerely know that you're not alone if you haven't been feeling your best and I am hopeful for us I was thinking that as much as I have been hard on myself like why don't I feel like I used to feel we're not we're not the same as we used to be and we're recreating our new normals even a year into the pandemic I'm still recreating new normals for myself I have a lot of changes going on I made a big decision at the beginning of March, which I'll probably end up sharing with you guys, but I'm just not quite ready yet, and it felt like a huge leap, and I think that that was a huge contributor to me feeling just 
uncertain and doubtful in myself, but my takeaway from my first therapy session was that I needed to trust myself more. So I think that's the update. I think that's the video. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well and it is what it is, right? <laughs> this seems so weird. I want to be positive and I want to be uplifting, but I, I'm just human. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just doing my best. And I know a lot of you guys feel that. I know that a lot of you guys feel the things that I have felt, the tiredness, the anxiety, the lack of motivation. And so here I am to tell you, it's okay. You're not alone. And we're going to get through it. We're, we're on, we're on the way back up. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. I love you guys. Bye.